Jan Karol Hotkiewicz by Encyclopedia Britannica. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Piotr Nater. Jan Karol Hotkiewicz, 1560-1621. Polish general, was the son of Hieronymus Hotkiewicz, castellan of Vilna. After being educated at the Vilna Academy, he went abroad to learn the science of war, fighting in the Spanish service under Alva, and also under Maurice of Nassau. In 1593 he married the wealthy Sofia Mielecka, by whom he had one son, who predeceased him. His first military service at home was against the Cossack rising of Nalewajko as lieutenant to Żółkiewski, and he subsequently assisted Zamoyski in his victorious Moldavian campaign. Honours and dignitaries were now showered upon him. In 1599 he was appointed Starosta of Samogitia, and in 1600 acting commander-in-chief of Lithuania. In the war against Sweden for the possession of Livonia, he brilliantly distinguished himself, capturing fortress after fortress, and repulsing the Duke of Sudermania, afterwards Charles IX, from Riga. In 1604 he captured Dorpat, twice defeated the Swedish generals at Biały Kamień, and was rewarded with the Grand Baton of Lithuania. Criminally neglected by the Diet, which from sheer niggardliness turned a deaf ear to all his requests for reinforcements and for supplies and money to pay his soldiers, Hotkiewicz nevertheless more than held his own against the Swedes. His crowning achievement was the great victory of Kirchholm, August 27, 1605, when, with barely 5,000 men, he annihilated a threefold larger Swedish army, for which feat he received letters of congratulation from the Pope, all the Catholic potentates of Europe, and even from the Sultan of Turkey and the Shah of Persia. Yet this great victory was absolutely fruitless, owing to the domestic dissensions which prevailed in Poland during the following five years. Hotkiewicz's own army, unpaid for years, abandoned him at last en masse in order to plunder the estates of their political opponents, leaving the grand hetman to carry on the war as best he could with a handful of mercenaries paid out of the pockets of himself and his friends. Hotkiewicz was one of the few magnates who remained loyal to the king, and after helping to defeat the rebels in Poland, a fresh invasion of Livonia by the Swedes recalled him thither, and once more he relieved Riga besides capturing Pernau. Meanwhile, the war with Muscovy broke out, and Hotkevich was sent against Moscow with an army of 2,000 men, though if there had been a spark of true patriotism in Poland, he could easily have marshaled 100,000. Moreover, the Diet neglected to pay for the maintenance even of this paltry 2,000, with the result that they mutinied and compelled their leader to retreat through the heart of Muscovy to Smolensk. Not till the Crown Prince Vladislaus arrived with tardy reinforcements did the war assume a different character, Hotkevich opening a new career of victory by taking the fortress of Drohobush in 1617. The Muscovite war had no sooner been ended by the Treaty of Deulina than Hotkevich was hastily dispatched southwards to defend the southern frontier against the Turks, who after the catastrophe of Cezora had high hopes of conquering Poland altogether. An army of 160,000 Turkish veterans, led by Sultan Osman in person, advanced from Adrianople towards the Polish frontier. But Hotkevich crossed the Dnieper in September 1621 and entrenched himself in the fortress of Hotin, right in the path of the Ottoman advance. Here, for a whole month, the Polish hero held the Sultan at bay, till the first fall of autumn snow compelled Osman to withdraw his diminished forces. But the victory was dearly purchased by Poland. A few days before the siege was raised, the aged Grand Hetman died of exhaustion in the fortress on September twenty fourth, sixteen twenty one. End of Jan Karol Hotkiewicz by Encyclopedia Britannica.